It's great to be back here hosting another um, webinar for you folks. Um, in case you've forgotten, my name is Jonathan Zakorski. Um, I'm a project lead here at Universal Processing with the Community Navigator Pilot Program. Um, the Community Navigator Pilot Program, is, as you may know, uh, was created by the SBA in an effort to connect socially disadvantaged small businesses to resources that will help them grow and improve. The SBA enlisted the help of eight national hubs to aid marginalized small business owners in the U.S. Pan-Asian American Chamber of Commerce was selected. The U.S. PAC chose Universal Processing as a national spoke to pr promote the CNPP uh, within the Asian American business community. <clears throat> as a spoke, we at Universal Processing are promoting the CNPP within our community and directly helping small business owners by providing free webinars uh, on essential business education, free business consulting, help with loan and grant applications, and much more. Um, I'll be mentioning this throughout um, the uh, presentation here, but uh, if at any point um, you would like clarification to anything that we go over, feel free to reach out to cnpp at uprocessing.com, um, um, and we'd be happy to work with you further. So today we'll be going over record keeping. Um, this uh, topic is certainly not completely new to anybody. Um, whether you own a small business or, um, or you don't, um, record keeping is a part of our everyday lives uh, and is really essential, especially to small business owners. So we'll go over uh, quickly um, our agenda, some, some learning objectives, um, there are no ground rules, um, really just, we'll go over some topics really broadly and um, pick up the things that you're interested in, um, choose the information that, that you feel like uh, will help you um, get your, your records organized and, and whatever little ways uh, this can help out, use this presentation um, to, to do whatever you feel is necessary. Obviously, this isn't a, um, take the entire presentation and, and make it gospel. Uh, use whatever information you feel like is um, the most helpful. Uh, and introductions, as I mentioned, um, I'm a project lead here at Universal Processing uh, with the CMPP team. Um, any questions, anything that you guys have, feel free to reach out to CMPP at uprocessing.com. All right, so we'll, we'll start off with some objectives for the video and, and the learning uh, in general. Um, we'll go over the concept of record keeping and why it's so important, especially in the context of small businesses. Um, identify record keeping practices, rules, tools, commonly available to small business. Um, like I said, most of these things are gonna be things that you have already heard of. Um, Maybe, maybe some not, um, and, and we'll definitely dive into some differentiation in practices from paper to electronic, cloud, and um, all sorts of things. Hopefully that's not daunting, we'll be going through it all. So in addition to explaining why it's so crucial, we'll also go over the benefits or the things to gain um, that you can have from, from developing a really strong uh, record keeping uh, strategy. Um, we'll also make sure to dive deep in, into the basics. Uh, so if you're really just starting out or thinking about starting a business, um, we're, we're happy to, to go from square one and, and help you with that process. Wherever you are in the process, we'll, we'll go through all stages. And then, you know, for everybody, obviously, things have become so digital. Um, a lot of businesses don't really even have uh, paper records anymore. Um, so we'll be going through a bunch of different uh, software products, uh, key differentiators uh, that are available for different small business record keeping. And, and before I go any further, um, there's a participant guide that is attached. And um, please feel free to flip through that as we continue this webinar, it's attached in the, uh, the chat. Uh, it's a really valuable resource. Um, and you'll be able to follow along. There's more in there than I'll be able to go through in just uh, the limited time that we have here today. So 
as I mentioned, we'll start really with the basics. Uh, the term record keeping refers to orderly and disciplined practice of storing uh, business records. Record keeping is one of the most important responsibilities of a small business owner. Um, the success of your business depends on creating and maintaining an effective record system. Whether your business is a sole proprietorship, partnership, or corporation, it doesn't matter. It's really square one. Um, it also, the organization of your records is more than just the organization of your records, the organization of your, of your business. Um, having things uh, neatly filed away and in their places is a larger discipline that you can apply to your small business. It doesn't just apply to records, obviously. So we, we briefly touched on this already. Um, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, just one, one thing. Um, this ranges from a simple manila folder uh, filing system where you have your essential uh, licenses and, and um, anything like that just tucked away in a file cabinet in a few manila folders to complex cloud storage um, and, and online electronic filing systems. So one of the benefits that we have, obviously, from having all of this stuff organized is the fast retrieval of records. Uh, today is tax day as I'm recording this. Um, I'm sure that many of us will have been looking for a tax document that, um, you know, we didn't necessarily know where it was. And we have moments like that throughout our lives. And keeping organized records make those uh, moments go much easier. Um, and updating on an ongoing basis. Obviously, this isn't something you can set up and just forget about it. Uh, it's a constant process. Keep good records, both business and personal. Obviously, if you're a small business owner, those two uh, are tied very closely together. So why is record keeping important? Record keeping is not solely about filling uh, regulations or legal requirements. Record keeping is also about understanding your business now and in the future. Reasons why you should keep good records include detail tracking, planning, legal compliance, tax preparation, uh, federal, state, and local, of course. Um, we'll go through each of these reasons in a little bit further detail. Detail tracking. Owning a small business will require you to track a significant amount of information, such as customers, sales, and inventory. Without a proper record keeping system, you may lose sight of important business details leading to problems with serving your customers and your employees. Uh, if you do not know details about your customers, such as who your customers are and what your customers like, your business may not be able to meet buyer demands. You, ri you risk disappointing a customer, maybe losing that customer forever. Staying informed of, cust of customers, their orders, and the inventory, inventory to provide for their purchases is challenging. Without a proper record keeping system, tracking important details of your business may be impossible. And on top of that, having detailed records of your customers will help you to acquire new customers, right? For any marketing purposes or understanding your target demographic or anything like that, um, the information that you already have is your best asset. Planning. Proper record keeping helps to plan your business's future. How does a business owner who fails to track his customer determine inventory needs for next quarter, year or longer? So obviously having detailed records will help you forecast. It will help you plan for the future. You will have a detailed history on what has already happened uh, and how that will determine what will happen in the future. So it's not only the past that having detailed records influences. Legal compliance, this one's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, as an owner, you will likely execute contracts and be required to hold various licenses and permits. As an employer, uh, you will be required to maintain and report employee payroll for tax purposes, contract leases, and other arrangements. 
Having a good system for maintaining contracts is critical. Most business owners sign contracts for services, sales, financing, leasing, purchasing, to name a few contract types. And every day it seems like there are more contracts that we're signing. Um, these things, as a business owner, it's critical for you to have at your fingertips. Um, licenses and permits. We need licenses and permits to operate our businesses. Um, they need to be kept up to date or they risk uh, our business having to pause or, or shut down. Um, these are things that the organization is absolutely critical. You wouldn't go driving without your driver's license. You can't practice uh, as a small business without knowing where your licenses are. And payroll and personnel, that needs to be organized. You need to take care of your people. You need to know exactly what's going on, track expenses, forecast expenses, um, you know, healthcare benefits, all of that stuff um, is very important to running a successful business, especially as you start to grow, right? Um, these things need to be organized so that uh, the system can grow as our business grows. Um, federal, state, and local taxes, uh, it's kind of the same situation as your business grows, these tax filings and required documents and all of those sort of things um, will only grow. So having a organized system um, will certainly aid you to uh, get through those things more quickly, right? Um, so business operations and tracking details. Owning a small business will require you to track a significant amount of information such as customers, sales, and inventory. Without a proper record keeping system, you may lose sight of important business details leading to problems with serving your customers. If you do not know details about your customers, such as who your customers are, what you like, your business may not be able to meet buyer demands and you risk disappointing your customers. Without a proper record keeping system, tracking important details of your business may be impossible. And as we mentioned earlier, this may be your history, but having those customer trends, the uh, inventory trends will help you forecast for the future. And it'll also help you invest in your business in um, acquiring new customers. Of course, yeah, so of course, inventory, right? We can tell what things are selling, what things are not selling. And the longer that we have a history of that, the more easy it becomes to um, forecast for the future. So one, one question that certainly comes up when we're thinking about record keeping is, well, just how long should I keep things? Um, this chart will serve as a little bit of a guide in terms of how how long uh, it makes sense for for business owners to hang on to certain records. So not only should small business owners keep good records, but owners should also know which of those records to retain and for how long. Good record retention is in the best interest of uh, companies. A poor system of retention will prevent managers from retrieving information needed to make sound business decisions. A poor record keeping retention system also poses a security risk, right? We see this all the time nowadays. Um, we need to know where things are because if we don't know where they are, they may not be safe. So that's just another reason why record keeping is so vital to a small business's success. Um, table one shows uh, a sample of records to keep um, and for how many years to keep them. The IRS determines some record retention guidelines. Other retention requirements are legal in nature, such as licenses, certifications, um, and that sort of stuff. Um, expert recommendations do vary. Uh, also, retention schedules vary by region. For example, a state may have a different statute of limitation for legal liability or lawsuits. Um, so check with your attorney for legal requirements. Also, on these licenses um, and certifications, many of them will have their expirations or um, any information like that. So just make sure to, to check on those and make sure that everything is current and have a plan um, for things when they may expire. So now we'll go over some record keeping tools. Um, 
These will go from uh, extremely simple, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the simple manila folder on, on a, a desk to a filing cabinet um, to a computer software to a, a cloud computing um, or accounting file hosting. Uh, we'll dig deeper into all of those, those topics. Um, but it's important what this says on this gentleman's computer screen, use what works best. Um, if you have a simple paper tools uh, filing system that works well for you, you may not need to change it. Um, if it's working and if you are able to access the documents that you need, everything is up to date and you have the insights that you want, there's no need to, to worry about whether you should upgrade to a software or something like that. Obviously those things are helpful, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. So this, this will seem uh, a little rudimentary, but we'll dig into it anyway. Um, file folders. A file folder holds loose paper, papers together for organization and protection. File folders can easily be purchased at office supply stores. Label file folders uh, based on what is inside by writing directly on the tabs or by writing on adhesive labels that are placed on the tabs. Um, something that I personally have, have noticed in my own record keeping is um, use a system for your labels. Don't just label things, uh, whatever comes in mind. Label things so that uh, they correspond to what's in there and they correspond to each other in the larger system. Um, hanging folders. Uh, use hanging folders to group several file folders together. For example, a hanging folder might be labeled clients uh, to contain a number of individual client folders. Um, and of course, you know, it, depending on the number of clients you have, you can have clients uh, April 2023, clients, you know, May uh, 2023, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I find that it's better to have more folders uh, and, and further uh, delineation rather than fewer um, and very full folders, because then all that ends up happening is you're searching through a packed folder and you still can't find what you're looking for. Cabinet storage. Um, this is just an accumulation of files. Uh, we're just growing in size here. So an accordion folder is multiple um, file folders. It's a portable uh, cabinet storage, if that makes sense. Um, an accordion folder opens like an accordion on top to reveal compartments for storing documents. Uh, each compartment can be labeled uh, as if it was a mini uh, manila folder, and that way you can, you can carry uh, important documents nicely organized uh, with you. Um, nobody wants to carry a uh, file cabinet around. So this system, uh, Tickler system, is a system that many business owners use. Um, it's a system for remembering upcoming events, such as quarterly taxes, license renewals, insurance reviews and renewals, upcoming bills and callbacks. Um, this is something that you can use to uh, plan for the near future, um, keep your tasks organized uh, in terms of uh, what needs to be renewed, what needs updating um, and, and callbacks, you know, all that sort of stuff in the, in the near future. And now we, we start to transition into a little bit um, different uh, ball of wax here. And um, hopefully uh, a lot of you folks are using computer systems already. Uh, they can be super helpful. Um, I know that we use uh, quite a few different computer systems and um, they can certainly help you uh, keep everything that you need in, um, in order. Um, while most businesses will need to maintain some form of paper-based record keeping, obviously for your licenses, your certifications, um, anything like that, um, computer-based systems are becoming the norm. Implement computer-based systems over time as you become more comfortable with uh, computer record keeping. With computer systems, your records will take up less space and can be transmitted over the internet. Many businesses and government agencies will allow you to purchase goods, apply for licenses, and pay, pay fees over the internet. So 
it it is really the same concept as anything that is done um, in pen and paper. In the computer, you'll have folders, you'll have different file cabinets. Um, everything needs to be labeled, uh, and it's it's just a more central and easier place for you to keep everything that you need. Obviously, with business taking place so much and, and communication taking place so much over um, email, uh, it's just much, much easier to have documents on hand uh, in your system already rather than having to scan them or maybe even mail them. Um, yeah, so I recently went through something where I submitted a paper document, I, I had it filled out, notarized, went to mail it, a week later it comes back, returned to sender, uh, and then I was able to just send the same thing, same day, uh, to, to the agency that I needed to send it to, um, and it arrived there an hour later. So whenever we can, um, I know that this can be something that's daunting to a lot of folks, um, but start small, um, pick up a rudimentary um, file system on the computer and, and take the time to get to know it um, and, and learn how it works so that you can start to grow it into your business uh, and, and make it your normal. Um, something else that's very important, it's, it's uh, you always need to have a backup of files that are on a computer just in case you drop it in a swimming pool or anything happens to it where it's damaged and you, you, lose, you lose those files. So be sure to back it up on either the cloud or uh, an external hard drive or something of that sort. Um, it's the same thing for, for paper files, right? You wouldn't want to have only one copy of the deed of your house, right? It, we need to have things stored safely in, in different locations just to make sure that our bases are covered. So I just mentioned it, um, cloud computing. It just essentially means that you're keeping documents or, or um, records on the internet uh, away from your computer, but safely stored in, in what is termed the cloud, but it, it just means internet storage. Um, and as an alternative, uh, as an alternate or to supplement paper-based and computer systems, one, one more option is becoming increasingly available, available, cloud computing. Use cloud computing to store, manage, and process data on the internet rather than using a local personal computer. The advantages of cloud computing are one, you don't need to install software upgrades. You are less likely to lose your data because of computer crashes, and you can access your information, such as financial information from any location that has access to the internet. The more comfortable you are with computers, software, and the internet, the more you should explore cloud computing for your business record keeping. It's um, wherever you are in the kind of technological journey that uh, our times are kind of mandating, um, this is definitely something to start to become familiar with at your own pace. Um, it really helps with storage and retrieval of important information. Um, as mentioned, you can get these documents from anywhere. One great application uh, is accounting software and cloud computing. Um, some accounting software companies offer their product with online accounting options. Instead of buying software which runs uh, on your computer, you pay a monthly fee to use an accounting service uh, on the internet. Um, I'm sure most, most folks have heard of QuickBooks as small business owners. I'm sure a lot of you are using it. Um, you know, services like TurboTax and stuff like that. Um, these are kind of what we're referring to. And yeah, it's, it's another, another thing that is, is really important is that um, these are not locally stored on the computer itself. They're stored uh, in the internet. And um, if anything were to happen to one of your devices, uh, it'll still be there when you log on from another device. So file hosting is another, um, another popular solution nowadays. 
Um, if, you use, if you use computer files in your business, you can store and share those files with colleagues and clients using an internet file hosting service. The files can be made accessible from any location with access to the internet by multiple people. You can use file hosting to archive large amounts of data. Both free and fee-based hosting services are available. And you know, a lot the trend with these cloud computing services, um, access them anywhere, uh, anytime a need arises. You know, most of us carry a smartphone around, um, and of course, our documents would be accessible from there. Business software. Regardless of whether you use a computer system, cloud-based computing, or a combination of the two, you'll need to think about business software to help keep your records, especially as things grow. Um, I'm sure that these are things that most of you folks are already you know, very comfortable with. Obviously, if you're here, you registered uh, and showed up uh, via email. Um, spreadsheets, uh, Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets. We do a lot of our budgeting um, and projections through these uh, inventory, countless other things. Um, if you're not familiar with these yet, it's good to um, dive in and learn at your own pace as they'll only help your uh, business grow as we kind of move further in this um, technological revolution. When considering business software, it's, it's very important to evaluate the business's needs. Um, do your research uh, to make sure you buy software that matches your business type and size. Also consider factors such as these when deciding what software will work for your business. Point of sale system integration. Uh, if you have any questions about that, that is uh, something that Universal Processing specializes in. Reach out to CNPP at uprocessing.com. We'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, inventory tracking, online options, manufacturing based options, e commerce based options, industry specialization, and multiple users. Um, there's a lot to consider, and it's important to remember that. For each sector that your business may be in, there may be a specific um, business software for that sector. Uh, and, and they're tailored to everything that, that exists there and they'll, they'll serve um, to help your business even more. Um, your business software choices will probably fall into the following categories, um, which we'll discuss below. Inventory, online sales, manufacturing, and specialized. Um, inventory, businesses with inventory requirements use software programs that will track inventory purchases and sales. Um, most accounting programs have inventory tracking features. Uh, study the inventory capacity of the software you are considering to see if the capacity will meet your needs now and in the future. Obviously, this seems like a lot to consider. It's, it's worth finding um, someone that can help you get set up with the right um, solution. A lot of the businesses that sell these solutions um, will walk you through the different options. Um, obviously, a lot of these solutions are an investment. And uh, before you uh, embark on that journey, it's important to make sure that you're getting the right uh, solution. Um, online sales. Many businesses sell products online using either an internet site like eBay or a dedicated business website. Uh, some accounting programs can access a business's online sales information. Be sure to investigate if the software you are considering will work with your system for online sales. Um, it's always important to make sure that um, any uh, software that you bring, bring on will work with uh, the software that you're already using or the solutions that you're already using. Um, okay. And then specialized businesses. Some businesses will have unique needs. Uh, for these cases, a business may require industry specific software, uh, as we mentioned a little bit earlier. Um, software in this category usually has much more capacity and can be customized to fit a business's unique situation. 
Due to this customization, specialized software tends to cost considerably more and require specialized training. Um, don't let that put, put, it, put you off. Um, it's worth the investment in the time and the training if your business uh, will be um, really positively impacted by having such a specialty software. There's a reason they exist, right? And um, so now we'll talk a little bit more about email. Obviously, email is in every, you know, almost second part of our lives now. Um, so business software uh, has grown to encompass email as well. Um, you're probably already familiar with using email. Email has become a significant means of doing business, more common than regular mail in most cases. Um, I could probably count the pieces of mail that I send a year uh, on both hands. Um, but uh, yeah, so keeping a good filing system for your email communication is as important as keeping a good paper-based system. Most email services allow you, you to create files just as you would for paper systems uh, for keeping your email. So like I mentioned, um, labeling files, putting files inside of a file cabinet, uh, it's the same thing just happens inside your computer. You can manage email on your local computer hard drive. However, many email services provide a webmail client uh, as part of their internet service uh, service package. As with any web application, the main advantage of webmail uh, over the use of a desktop email client is the ability to send and receive email uh, wherever there is a web browser. The main disadvantage of webmail is the need to be connected to the internet while using it. Obviously, you need to be connected to the internet to send and receive emails, but um, local-based uh, email solutions will save your emails on your computer. Um, although I do know that there are a lot of uh, web client um, or web browser-based email services that will allow you to do the same thing. Spreadsheets. Um, spreadsheets can be an extremely useful tool if you know how to use them well, even if you don't. Um, but I understand that they may be daunting for some people. Um, the great thing about all of these solutions is there are so many different resources that are free that um, we can go to to learn how to use them or how to use them even for our like, very specific use. Um, and we'll touch, we'll touch on those. Uh, a little bit more at the end, but um, I'm thinking of YouTube um, and Google, obviously. Uh, I, Whenever I have a question, um, that's usually the first place I turn, and someone before me has had the exact same question and made a video about it. So always, always good to keep that in the back of your mind. The spreadsheets can be used for client information, inventory, timesheets, scheduling, budgeting, and more. A spreadsheet is a computer application that simulates a paper accounting worksheet. The spreadsheet displays multiple cells uh, in a two-dimensional grid consisting of rows and columns. Each cell contains text, numbers, or formulas. Most of us are um, pretty familiar with what a spreadsheet is. Uh, they're everywhere now. Um, obviously, when we think of spreadsheets, we think of Excel, we think of Google Sheets, um, an extremely valuable tool. There are a lot of tutorials out there. Um, these will help you keep track of your inventory, personnel files, projections. I mean, ev everything that is, is quantitative you can track uh, with, with spreadsheets. Business software for accounting. Again, happy tax day, everyone. Um, I'm sure uh, a few of you have used solutions like TurboTax or HR Block or uh, Jackson Hewitt or any of those um, solutions recently. Um, I know they've made my life much easier. Uh, all, I, all I see are the individual dialogue boxes rather than the 229-page uh, uh, filing for my taxes, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but um, accounting software can be extremely useful um, to track business financial records such as sales, expenses, inventory, and assets. Um, small business accounting software will help you to systematically organize your financial information in a way that is easy to access. Um, for example, 
if you want to know if a certain bill was paid, an accounting system uh, should be able to tell you not only when the bill was paid, uh, but the check number and other details such as details you may have recorded about the vendor. If you lose an invoice or a bill, information from sending duplicate inv invoices or bills can be found in the program. Um, yeah, these, these, especially as your business grows um, and you have more and more transactions, these just, they become really necessary um, and they will make your life a lot easier. Accounting software can be very affordable and a great value. Calls for training should be considered, but these costs are usually affordable for the small business owner. Like I mentioned before, there are tons of tutorials and resources that are available on how to use these softwares that are free. Um, I'm sure there's, there's training that uh, is available at cost, um, but there are quite a lot of um, free resources out there. Um, generally, as you buy more uh, sophisticated and expensive accounting software, you're buying more memory volume, uh, inventory sophistication, mobile functions, um, and industry specific reports. Um, so obviously as your business becomes larger and does more and more volume, this may be something that you want to consider. Obviously, this is a webinar and we won't have a discussion per se, um, but take some time to think about your accounting system. How would you describe it? Um, how might it be improved? Is there anything that you've already heard um, so far through this webinar that you think would help? Um, what specifically are the pain points? Um, what would you like to improve most? And also think about what works really well. Um, just some things to uh, think about and keep in, in the back of your mind as, as we draw uh, closer towards the conclusion of this presentation. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, there's, we're spoiled for choice uh, in software training options. Um, Obviously, as things get more and more specific, more industry specific, um, and uh, more acute, there will be less resources, but there will also be more professionals to teach you about it. So um, when you choose to use business software, uh, be sure to get trained in its use um, and do that right off the bat. Uh, it's only frustrating if you dive into something and then you don't necessarily understand how to use it to its its uh, potential um, get trained when you when you get the software uh, it'll really help the way that your business develops through implementing that software um, tutorials and free trials most if not all accounting software programs offer tutorials and free trials uh, to help you learn and sample the program um, a lot of these offer these free trials before you buy it, obviously free trial. Um, they're usually long enough where you can get an initial feel for the, the solution um, and, and get an idea uh, whether it, it would work for your solution or not. Um, if you visit the website of any reputable software programs, you'll probably see a tour of the software um, and a free download trial version. When you download trial software, the program will have a tutorial built into the program. Don't skip the tutorial. They're super helpful. Um, and it'll show you how to set up your company and how to do basic functions. And, and now I think tutorials are becoming so popular that um, it goes much further than just basic solutions. Whether it's on the manufacturer's website or in the program itself, you can find tutorials for, for just about any function you can think of. And uh, just like this is an online webinar um, or training, there are classes and webinars like this uh, for most of these specific uh, solutions. And a lot of these are put on by the SBA or SCORE or uh, SBDCs or business centers. You know, the, the amount of resources that are out there, um, it's, it's, really, it's really fantastic. So we will share um, this list with you. It's in your participant guide. Um, there are even classes in community college. Uh, so the, the resources are certainly there. Um, my favorite, YouTube. Uh, if you're not familiar with YouTube, 
YouTube is a video sharing website uh, where users can upload, share, and view videos. YouTube offers many different recordings of accounting software training. All of these training videos are free. You can search for a trainer that appeals to you. In some cases, trainers will offer a few free videos um, on YouTube, and then they may charge they may charge a, a fee for full training courses on their website. They may not. Um, there really are so many free resources. Um, so that's definitely something uh, I would push anybody considering one of these solutions to check out. And of course, um, important to not forget about the professionals, um, accountants. Most business owners need to meet with an accountant from time to time. Um, many have accountants that they work with uh, regularly. Um, Meet with an accountant to not only learn about tax requirements for your business, but to get advice about setting up your accounting system properly. Um, they'll probably have recommendations uh, that best suit your, your business. Um, so of course, any input of that nature would be very beneficial. And even if you're not working with an accountant or um, are reluctant to reach out to one for any reason, there are bookkeepers and consultants. Um, that can help you uh, get situated and train you on your system. Um, this usually applies to uh, larger practices, obviously in the, in the world of consulting um, and bookkeepers for probably things that are uh, uh, on the more um, community um, and small business side. So we've gone over quite a few different tools that we can use to keep records better um, and more organized. Don't put it off anymore. Make that investment, whether it's cleaning up the file cabinet, um, cleaning up the computer system, cleaning up the cloud, uh, and getting organized. Start now. It will help your business. It will help your business grow. Um, and it is such a valuable investment of your time and effort. Key points to remember, as a small business owner, you will need to track a significant amount of information. None of that is news to you if you're a small business owner. Um, no matter the type, size, or complexity of your business, establish and maintain a proper record keeping system that is suited to your particular business needs. <clears throat> Pick one record keeping system or use a combination. Doesn't matter whatever, you're, whatever you saw in this video that spoke to you and you thought would be really helpful, go for it. Um, but start now, don't put it off anymore. So in, in summary, we've covered a lot of information today about record keeping. Um, what final questions do you have? Um, what have you learned? Um, what did you think of this training? Um, with any, any questions in that regard, don't hesitate to reach out to CMPP at U Processing. Happy to help you if you have any specific questions about this or non-specific questions. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's been a, a great pleasure with all of you today. Um, I think we have one more slide, just the conclusion. Um, we learned what the basics of record keeping are, um, why it's so important, um, basic tools, uh, and then not so basic tools. Um, the benefits of record keeping, um, softwares that are available for record keeping, and the training resources that are out there. Um, I hope that this presentation has been helpful. Uh, I think that record keeping is such a pillar of the small business owners um, practice that uh, it's, it's really important to address any issues, especially if you're having trouble finding things. Um, take the time to, to address it. Um, really appreciate you joining us. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to CNPP at uprocessing.com and we'd be happy to, happy to help you with it, whatever you need. Um, take care and I will see you next time.